what is up guys? Welcome back to Life From Those. Hope you guys are doing well today. We're going to be continuing our series where we talk about places to travel for watches. This has been a really fun series for us to create. Uh, essentially, we discuss places around the world where watchmaking is at the forefront of a lot of the history by the, by the, of that city. And um, we talk about things that you can do in those cities um, to experience watches. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a different one. If you haven't seen from the, from the title of this video, we're actually going to be discussing London. Um, London probably isn't the first place you think of when, when you think about watches. Um, you probably think of places like Geneva, Schaffhausen, uh, places where watch manufacturers actually are located. Um, but we were kind of thinking about this in a different way. Um, one of the things that is extremely important when it comes to um, being on a journey of watches is to actually experience um, what uh, the retail side of watches actually is. Um, I think there's something very special about going to a watch boutique, trying on a watch and, up and purchasing that watch. <coughs> Um, I know that you end up paying higher prices for those watches compared to those, the same watch on a second hand, uh, from a second hand you know, dealer. Um, but I think there is something special about doing that. Um, a lot of the times people discuss uh, buying, an, you know, buying a new uh, Rolex Submariner. That is a very different experience than buying a second hand Rolex Submariner. Um, so I think London is a perfect place to actually get those, the retail experience. Um, and I'm gonna be discussing some of the places that you can go to, um, to experience all kinds of brands. Um, I'm going to tell you kind of the list of all the t places that you can go to to find these um, watch uh, boutiques. <clears throat> um, but then I want to give you kind of my, my two cents on what I think um, your watch journey in London should be. Um, so that's going to be the place we're going to discuss today. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button for us and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. We create videos about watches, just about any topic you can think of. Um, so might as well subscribe to the channel. Um, so, like I said, um, we've gone through some very interesting places where there's been a lot of, um, a lot more focus on the manufacturing of the watches and um, focus on the um, <clears throat> on the uh, watchmaking elements of, of the uh, your kind of watch experience in that in that um, in that city. Um, but I think the retail experience is extremely important. Um, I will say, like <clears throat> one of my watches, um, I I received from my parents. When I graduated from high school, that was purchased from uh, a retailer. And I think because that happened, it's a lot more special to me because I have memories of that specific retailer and where it's located. Um, and uh, it's just a very uh, special experience um, for me to know that my, my watch came from there. So I know that there's a lot of uh, dispute within the watch collecting community where should you buy from retail because you're gonna end up buy, uh, purchasing the watch for a lot more than if you purchased it from a secondhand dealer, um, where you can actually get some basically like new pieces for um, uh, without the the uh, kind of the retail uh, premium. Um, but but again, like I think it's a very uh, special experience to do that. Um, there are so many watches, uh, watch boutiques in London that you can visit um, uh, on Bond Street, Mayfair. Um, Harrods is another one that you probably came to mind. So I'm going to discuss a couple, a couple of them. There is a retailer called um, Mappin and Web. Um, Mappin and Web is kind of like a conglomerate where they um, are an authorized dealer of a bunch of uh, watch brands. <clears throat> For example, they have uh, Bell and Ross, Breitling, Omega, Rolex, and Patek. These types of retailers are really nice because you can actually go there and um, experience different types of watches from a lot of different brands. So you don't have to just focus on one brand and try only Bell & Ross watches. You can actually try on a Bell & Ross and say, how does it feel compared to a Breitling watch? Um, <clears throat> the store is very nicely laid out. Um, and, and again, like I think the fact that there are so many different brands allows for, for you to kind of experience um, different brands at the same time. Um, so that's one of the, the retails that you could possibly go to. Um, the next, if you look, if you go on to uh, Old Bond Street, there are so many uh, boutiques there. There's actually two Cartier boutiques that you can go into. As always, these boutiques of these brands are going to be extremely well um, laid out, very luxurious, um, and you're going to really enjoy your experience there. So at, on Old Bond Street, you have two Cartier uh, boutiques. There's also a Vachon Constantin boutique, an Omega boutique, a Rolex boutique, a uh, Yigle Coultre boutique, a Piaget and Préguier boutique. Um, Again, like I think going to these brands, experiencing their watches um, is, is, a, is a, an important part about the retail experience. Um, one, one of the reasons why I think you should go to these brands and actually experience both, you know, if you go to a Mappin and Web and experience a bunch of brands at once, and then you go to these <coughs> individual boutiques and experience those individual watches. I think that contrast is gonna be quite interesting because when you go to the individual Cartier boutique or the individual Omega boutique, <coughs> 
you'll be able to kind of immerse yourself in um, the history, the tradition, the uh, culture, um, and all the watches that that brand has, has produced. And it kind of gives you an immersive experience of that specific brand. And so visiting one of these boutiques on Old Bond Street will kind of immerse you in, in, um, in the experience of, of one of these brands. Um, that's something you can do. There's also a bunch of other um, conglomerates besides Mapier and Web. There's Watches in Switzerland, which has a very big online presence. There's also a, a, a Wempe, which is um, a Wempe, which is um, obviously there's one in New York. There's some around the world, and then there's a Chronometre uh, 1998 or 1999. <clears throat> Again, these uh, boutiques will allow you to experience a bunch of brands at, at once and kind of immerse you in. Um, comparing brands and seeing how they differ. I will say these three boutiques really do um, kind of have their own vibe and <clears throat> have created um, not a cult following, but there is a, a quite a quite a good following uh, from these brands. Just an example, Vempe in New York has a very different experience than Vempe in London. Um, I will say, uh, you know, Vempe is very well known for for the types of watches that they're able to to um, to to have in their store, and I think that's another great experience. Um, Chronometre 1999 actually has um, a very interesting selection of watch companies that are a little bit more uh, under the radar, not like the mainstream Rolex Omega um, Breitling. Um, they actually have uh, watch companies like Audemars Piguet, uh, Richard Mille, Beauvais, uh, Lucien Arda, Depitune, the list goes on. But I think that's also another kind of sector that you could experience. You could experience these kind of um, Hot Hologi um, companies that make um, you know independent watches like Debutune or Richard Mille. Um, it's a little bit different than going to a Vempe and experience Alain and Zöne, Patek Philippe. Um, so that's kind of a cool um, cool contrast you can get from Conrad from 1999. And then the last thing is um, the last kind of retail company that I want to discuss is Harrods. Uh, Harrods is obviously uh, a very very uh, well known. Uh, I love it. A place that you can go shopping. A lot of times people go there, um, you know, around the holiday time. And it's a very um, great place to experience what the holidays are like in New York. Um, obviously, they have uh, many very expensive um, uh, luxury uh, companies that, that are in Harrods. Um, but you can also go to the Harrods of London uh, watch boutique, and they basically have every single brand that you could possibly want. Um, it's a uh, it's another place where you can experience a bunch of watches, but I will say buying something from Harrods actually comes with kind of like a tradition. Um, it's a little bit of a tradition when it comes to Harrods. Um, you know, you're going in there and a lot of people have purchased watches there. Um, it's a very famous place to, to buy watches and I think it's it's a great experience that you can go through. Now again, you're probably gonna end up paying a little bit more um, for that experience, um, for the watches you're, end up go you're gonna purchase, but I think it's um, completely worth it. Um, again, this is a place where you can experience a bunch of different brands, try them on, compare them, see what kind of fits your wrists and fits your style. Um, so I've discussed a lot of retail uh, shops that you can go and visit in London. I'm going to kind of walk through what my watch journey would be like if I went there. So I'd probably start with Harrods. Um, Harrods would be the place I start. Kind of trying a, a bunch of different watches, bringing the vibe of, of this kind of luxurious experience where you can try on watches and experience your, uh, and discuss the watches with the um, sales uh, representative. Um, this kind of gives me a feel of like what watches really, really fit me. From there, I'd probably go to Chronometre 1999. Um, this would allow me to experience some a little bit less known watches under the radar, um, like Debutune, uh, like uh, Beauvais. And you can see how um, kind of the mainstream Omega, uh, Omega Rolex uh, brightening uh, watches compared to those of kind of more independent, more niche uh, watch, uh, watch manufacturers. Um, that would give me a really great experience of like what all is out there. At this point, I'd probably be a little bit overwhelmed because I've experienced so many different watches. So then I would probably go to um, Old Bond Street or New Bond Street and go to one of the boutiques that I, that really spoke to me during my time in Harrods and Conometre 1999. So um, just out of the list, I'd probably visit Vacheron Constantin. I know that they're one of my favorite watch companies. Um, you probably know that, that they are one of my favorite watch companies. Um, so I'd probably want to uh, visit them, experience what their boutique is like in London and um, really immerse myself in the history that I really love about Vacheron Constantin. Um, I would also probably visit um, uh, Patek Philippe, 
just because uh, you should probably hit my tech uh, whenever you get the opportunity to. Um, and from there, it's kind of just, what am I feeling? Um, that would be, th those two would probably be my, the biggest boutiques that I would want to kind of experience their retail um, side of. Uh, from there, the doors are kind of open. Um, maybe I'd go back to Vempe and experience that. Um, Vempe of London and see what, um, how it compares to Vempe of New York. Um, but I think at that point, it's kind of really, you know, my my decision. I could do whatever I really want there. Um, but yeah, that, that would be my watch journey in London. Again, like, I think the biggest thing here is like, you need to understand what really speaks to you when it comes to a retail experience. And I think you should at least get, go to the, the place, figure out um, what watches you probably want to see and just go through the experience. You don't have to actually buy um, a watch from one of these stores. In fact, um, you probably uh, will not want to. Uh, you'll probably want to go to one of the secondhand uh, dealers, which there actually are quite a few in London. Um, but I think this is a really great place to experience the retail, immerse yourself in the culture of the brands and get that experience of working with a sales representative and, and seeing these, these really uh, amazing watches at retail. So um, yeah, that would be um, what my experience in London would be if I was to travel there for watches. I think this is a really great way that you can kind of see the retail side of watch collecting um, I mean, who doesn't like looking at watches all day, right? Um, so yeah, uh, if you haven't seen the other episodes of the series, there is a playlist where we uh, put all of our places to travel for watches uh, videos, so be sure to check that out. Also, if you do anything big in the video, be sure to hit that like button for us and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time.